Hey everybody, thanks for watching part three and the final part of my nine millimeter versus 40 Smith & Wesson video series. Um, we're just gonna do a little quick recap and target review today, but there is some bonus footage coming and I'll tell you why I did it. Now, the three guns that I shot, my M&P Shield, which is my everyday carry, my M&P 40 full size is another gun that I'll carry, and then my pair of Black Ops 1911 uh, chamber and 45 will be another gun that I carry on occasion also. So I wanted to run that test with the three guns that I will carry and make sure that I can shoot them adequately. But I knew this question would come up. Yes, but if you, for instance, let's say you shot the 40 better than the nine. Well, the 40 is a bigger gun, so that makes sense because it handles recoil better. And I'm sure that could just go on and on. So um, let's just say there might be a second M&P shield making an appearance later in the video. For now though, let's check the targets. First rounds that I put down range were with my M&P shield chambered in nine millimeter. All right, and you saw that, that was from appendix out of my deep concealment holster. And we ended up with a four inch group. Ran the test five times, three rounds a piece. Four inch group, M&P shield nine, nine millimeter. Great gun, I love it. Really love that gun, all right? Next, full-size M&P 40. And, wow, is that even possible? Is it possible that you can shoot 40? A better group than with a nine? No way. <laughs> Guys, I knew this question would come up, so I've already, I've already kind of um, made arrangements for it. I knew that the question would be, well, you shot a smaller group because the M&P 40 is a full-size gun and the shield is nine. Well, again, these were ran this test because these are the three guns that I will carry. So, uh, but just to uh, squash that also, I went ahead and again, you may be seeing another Smith & Wesson shield chambered in a different caliber coming up here really soon, all right? Uh, but the bottom line is that my two carry guns, two of them, the nine and the 40, um, I shot the 40 better. And what's this? This has got to be, this is crazy. Three and three quarter inch group with a 45 slug? No way. Yes, that was with my pair of Black Ops 1911. Chambered in 45. Shot that well also. No complaints. Um, <laughs> so there you go, guys. The three targets, three group sizes, all respectable. Um, you know, even for those of you who might say, well, you shot the shield a little looser groups than these because these are bigger, heavier guns. All right, let's just say that they're all inside four inches. Okay, let's just say for the sake of the video that all of these are four inches. That is more than adequate, more than adequate for the drills I did for civilians to defend themselves. All right. Now, um, again, we, uh, I knew the question would come up. Bigger gun with the 40, smaller gun with the shield. Let's take a look at some footage here and we'll meet you right back here in a little bit with a couple of more targets. What's better than one M&P shield? How about two M&P shields? Nine, 40, head to head, right now. Good hit.
gun shoot great guys um i, I don't want to come across like i'm on this uh this 40 is the holiest round in the world but i am just so tired of people bashing a caliber it's the stupidest thing ever um you know and i've said it before i've said it in conversations thank god the men in world war one and two who were issued the browning creation the 1911 chambered 45 acp didn't say oh my god i can't shoot the 45 it's just too big of a round for me uh they just went to work with what they had so the beautiful thing is nowadays guys we we can find out what works best for us and i've said it in my other video too the nine versus 40 do some testing like this you can go to ranges i mean i'm blessed i've got two two different outdoor ranges like this where i can run I can do different drills and, and different things, and, and so I'm blessed. And I know not everybody has that. I get it. Um, you know, but but go to a range anyway. Maybe where they rent guns and and test things for yourself. You can at least test the shooting. May not be able to test the the outdoorsy type stuff like I'm fortunate enough to do. But stop believing everything on the internet. Do some research for yourself. All right. there was a bonus footage now if you have any question about how those drills went I started out shooting my uh, M&P um, shield 9 millimeter first followed by the 40 that was by design uh, I didn't shoot the 40 quote unquote fresh and then shoot the 9 behind it uh, so I shot you know the 40 better or anything else like that I shot the 9 first so that the 40 perceived recoil was greater okay so uh, I actually did that on purpose. Now we're going to make this short and sweet. Uh, you just saw a few of the rounds that I put down range um, with these two weapons. These are just two of the targets I used for the drills that you saw. All right, there are 30 rounds in the targets. I did some headshots, but we're not worried about those. Those are those are something separate. Those were kind of uh, experimenting a little bit. What we're focusing on are the body shots, the known body shots that I took. If we take a look at this target on the left, this round down here and this round right here yes that was a body shot I hit it a little high but hey I'll be honest guys uh, kind of off topic but if I'm gonna miss somewhere I would rather hit high than low you have way more arteries blood vessels nerve bundles uh, you know if I hit the front of the neck I have a better chance of penetrating to the back of the spine anyway and uh, instant incapacitation so the distance from this hole to this hole is 12 and a half inches and you can see a decent group size is less than eight inches. Um, now, I know I just did a drill on the other cardboard. That was strictly from three yards. This particular target, this hole, and this hole are the two known body shots that are the furthest apart. Okay? Now, um, you probably have already seen the measurements. If you take a look at the one on the left. We have a 12 and a half inch distance between those, all right? Now, if you throw out those two flyers, like I said, we got a pretty good group there, no problem. Same on this one, you throw out a couple of flyers, high and low, and uh, you know, we're still money. We're definitely in there with definitely some lethal, potentially fight stopping hits. Now, the big reveal, the 11 inch side and the 12 and a half inch side. If you had to guess which caliber is which, I went to my brother-in-law's and I borrowed his M&P 40 shield. This was shot with my 9 shield. This was shot with the 40 shield. I ended up with an inch and a half better group with the 40 than I did the 9. Now, again, let's just say for the sake of argument that they're both 12-inch groups, okay? Biggest spread between them. The biggest delta, biggest difference is 12 inches. Let's just say they're even. Don't tell me you cannot compare apples to apples with the exact same gun even, two different calibers, and shoot them effective enough to preserve human life from close quarter distances. As a matter of fact, guys, some of these were back all the way to seven yards. That's why the spread's a little bigger than the previous test I did that you guys saw in part two. But the bottom line is you can shoot 40 as well or better than nine 
Don't listen to the internet lies. Test it for yourself. Now, let's say you can't shoot 40 as well as nine. Let's say you can't shoot nine as well as you can 22. My wife carries a, a Ruger LCR and 22 long rifle, guys, and she shoots it very well, as well as any of these groups right here, all the way back to seven yards. If you don't think that that is better than carrying nothing, then you obviously have a lot of education to do for yourself. So, guys, in closing, a uh, little bonus footage here, you know, with the footage and then with these targets also, but I just started thinking I had to throw this in there. I had to grab his 40 and uh, put this together also just so it squashed any, any uh, deal that, you know, you can't shoot it as well if it's the same size gun. Now, you just have to trust me. None of this was manipulated. There was no cheating going on whatsoever. My character is deeper than that. This is completely 100% on the up and up and legitimate. Uh, I shot the 40 better than my 9, but again, for the sake of argument, I will say I shot them equally, and I have no problem with that. Um, if I can train with my 9, and I can carry my 40, awesome. Guys, there may be times where my brother-in-law's 40, sorry about that, I'm calling it mine, uh, which I probably will be buying one here soon, and I'm actually considering carrying the 9 and the 40, uh, which uh, would be like having a backup magazine but with a whole gun wrapped around it so anyway guys that's a separate video i want to thank you guys for watching all three parts of these it has been a lot of fun doing this keep up the good conversation i've got some great comments some good interaction and i always appreciate the support and appreciate you guys taking the time to watch leave your comments below and we'll catch you guys later